Okay, so in this video, we're going to install TypeScript into our project. We're going to create our first TypeScript file and we're going to install two additional optional modules called ESLint and Prettier, which is going to make our lives a bit easier later on down the line. So I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code, so I'm just gonna open that up. And first and foremost, I'm just going to open a new folder. Um, I'm gonna call mine demo zero, but you can uh, store your code wherever you want to. And then I'm just gonna open up that folder so that I'm working from there. Okay, so next up, I'm going to create a folder inside of my root folder, and I'm gonna call it SRC. And inside of that folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it index.ts, which if you hadn't guessed, that's TS for TypeScript. Okay, so next up, we're going to be initializing our project with our package manager. Um, I'm going to be using yarn, but you can feel free to use npm. However, your commands may differ from mine. If you do want to use Yarn and follow along with this, you can go to the Yarn website by just searching for Yarn on Google or heading to this domain here, um, finding the install Yarn button and then just installing however you want. My preferred method is using Homebrew, but you can use any of the methods that are advertised on the website. Okay, so going back to our code, I'm assuming that you've now got either Yarn or NPM uh, ready to go. I'm going to open a terminal in inside Visual Studio Code by hitting Command and J. And then I'm just going to type in, in my root folder, Yarn in it. I, for my uh, package name, I'm just going to leave it as demo zero. For my version, I'm just going to leave it as one. For my description, I'm also going to leave that as well. However, for my entry point, I do want to set this to dot slash build slash index.js. We're not going to be creating this file just yet, but this is going to be the file that TypeScript is going to compile our code to. Okay, so that's all good. I'm going to hit enter on that one. Repository URL can stay uh, empty, same with author, same with license, same with private, and we are all done. Next up, we're going to want to install TypeScript as a dev dependency into our package. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to add yarn add TypeScript dash dash dev. And now that's installed, package.json is updated to reflect that. So we're almost ready to start writing with some TypeScript, but one other thing that we need to do before we move forward is I'm gonna create a new file in our root directory and I'm gonna call it tsconfig.json. This file is gonna contain all the configuration that TypeScript will use to compile our code to JavaScript with. Um, for the time being, we just need a really, really basic setup. We just need to point it to where TypeScript should be looking for our code and where we want it to build our code to. So to do that, I'm gonna open up a new object in our JSON file. And the first key I'm going to enter is our compiler options. And inside of that object, there's, we're going to set the uh, property root dir to dot slash src and our out dir to dot slash build and then hit save. For the time being, that's all the configuration that we need, nice and simple. So let's hop over to our index.ts file and let's get coding. So the way that TypeScript works is it will compile our TS, our .ts files into JavaScript files, which will then be able to be read by modern web browsers and Node and wherever else you want to use it. So let's see how that compiler works. I'm going to declare a new constant called fruit and it's just going to be a string with the value apple. In our terminal, I'm just gonna hit Command and K so that I can clear it so it's nice and clean. I'm gonna run yarn tsc. So when we run tsc, as we just did, it will compile all of our TypeScript files into JavaScript files. And so we can see that the compiler has created a build folder here with our index.js file in just as we asked for. However, manually running the compiler like we just did every single time that we change our code is gonna get pretty old pretty quick. But thankfully TypeScript offers a watch mode and we can use that by going yarn tsc and then adding dash w on the end of our command and then just hitting enter. This will now enter TypeScript into watch mode and watch mode does exactly what it sounds like. It watches all of the files that it's been requested to watch and every single time we make any changes, it will recompile our code. And that is the bare minimum to get started writing TypeScript. Over the next five to 10 minutes, we're going to be installing two optional modules called ESLint and Prettier, and we're going to be setting them up to work with TypeScript. So with that in mind, let's install the other dependencies. I'm just gonna hit Control and C here so that we can exit our TypeScript watch command and clear our console with Command and K. 
Okay, so I'm going to go yarn add TypeScript dash ESLint slash ESLint plugin, dash ESLint plugin, sorry. Then TypeScript dash ESLint slash parser, then just ESLint by itself, then ESLint, whoops, ESLint dash config dash prettier, then ESLint plugin prettier, and then just prettier by itself. And finally, these are all dev dependencies. So we're going to want to add dash dash dev at the very end. And then I'm just gonna hit enter to install all of those dependencies. Next up, we're gonna create a new file in our root folder, which I'm going to do by just creating on the uh, sort of black space here. And then I'm gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it .eslintrc. Just like we set up our configuration with TypeScript using the tsconfig.json file, this is the config file for ESLint. So let's get that set up so it works with TypeScript. First and foremost, we're gonna open up a new object and we're going to define the parser property to be typescript-eslint forward slash parser. Inside our parser options object, we're going to set the ECMA version to 2020. And then inside the, whoops, inside the array called extends, we're going to define plugin, whoops, TypeScript dash ESLint slash recommended, followed by prettier slash TypeScript dash ESLint. And finally, plugin prettier slash recommended. And I'm just gonna hit save. You don't need to worry too much about the details of this configuration. All you need to know is that the parser is exactly what it sounds like. It's a TypeScript parser set up for ESLint. We set our ECMA version, which is our JavaScript version to 2020 so that we can use the latest version of JavaScript. And then finally, we set our extends array to include the TypeScript ESLint rules, the uh, prettier TypeScript ESLint rules, and then finally, the prettier recommended rules. Finally, I'm just gonna hit Command, Shift and P, and I'm gonna search for reload window just to make sure that everything is up to date. And then I'm gonna head over to my index.ts file once again. And straight away, we can now see the prettier and TypeScript are now in action because we have some new errors. If I hover over our fruit constant, we can see that uh, ESLint is complaining because fruit is assigned a value but never used. And if, if I hover over this red line here, we can see that prettier wants us to insert a new line break at the end of our line. If I wanted to fix any of these, I could just hover over the error and then I could click on quick fix and then click on fix this prettier problem. And that will automatically add a new line in which will fix that prettier problem. But manually doing that for every single error that ESLint and prettier flags up is gonna get pretty old. So I'm gonna set it up so that every single time I hit save, ESLint and prettier is run on our files. That way everything happens automatically and I don't need to worry about manually adding fixes. So I'm just going to go to my settings by hitting Command, Shift, and P, and then typing in Open Settings and selecting Open Settings JSON. So you may already have settings in this file. If you do, then just make sure that you're not re-adding the same settings, but rather just updating your existing settings. So to get ESLint and Prettier running every single time we hit save, I'm just gonna open up a new object and I'm going to type in editor.codeactions on save. And that is an object. And inside that object, I'm going to add source.fixall.eslint and set that to true. And because we don't want this to conflict with VS Code's own auto formatting behavior, we're going to disable that by setting editor, whoops, editor.format on save to false. And with that, I'm just gonna save our settings. I'm going to close our settings down. I'm gonna hit Command, Shift, and P. I'm gonna type in reload window, and I'm gonna reload our window one last time, and we should be all good to go. And so to recap, we've just installed TypeScript, we've installed ESLint, we've installed Prettier, and we've also created our first TypeScript file. We are now all ready to start coding.